The Vitality Pro is a budget-friendly toothbrush. It is particularly appealing for those who struggle to hold the less grippy all plastic handles found on many toothbrushes today. It represents a significant step up from a manual option. However, it is the Pro 3 that is my pick between these two models. It is more expensive but is justifiable given it offers better cleaning results and has a feature that overcomes a major frustration of the Vitality. Handling both brushes, the most noticeable difference is the design. The Vitality Pro is slightly shorter by about one centimeter, but has a tapered profile compared to the consistent cylindrical shape of the Pro 3. At the top of the Vitality, it measures approximately 3.2 centimeters thick, thinning to around 2.5 centimeters at the base, whereas the Pro 3 is approximately 2.5 centimeters wide and 2.9 centimeters deep. The Vitality is also about 20 grams lighter too. With a textured rubber grip wrapping around almost the entirety of the handle, the Vitality Pro is better suited to those who have arthritis or dexterity issues that might make holding a toothbrush a bit more challenging. The smooth gloss plastic finish of the Pro 3 isn't overly slippy, but it isn't as secure in the hand as the Vitality. The only notable downside to the design is that the Pro 3 is far easier to keep clean. Unless you keep on top of it, toothpaste and general gunk sticks and dries to the pitted surface of the Vitality Pro's grip. In line with the design, a small difference are the colour options available. The Vitality comes in black, purple and blue, whilst the Pro 3 is available in white, black, pink and blue. With both models, the brush heads are white. Both use the same interchangeable brush head system, although the Vitality Pro comes with two in the box, whereas the Pro 3 comes with just one. The Pro 3 offers much better cleaning results. You can feel and see the difference if you were to use both side by side. The Pro 3 gives a more invigorating, deeper dentist clean feeling. Plaque removal with the Vitality Pro is more than satisfactory and you get good results with much less effort than a manual brush. However, when compared to the Pro 3, there is a difference that over the months and years of use will help ensure your teeth and gums are as clean and as healthy as can be. Whilst I will always say that the brushing technique, time and frequency are more important than the power or number of bristle movements, the difference between these two does have some part to play in the subsequent cleaning results. The Vitality Pro has a 2D cleaning action, which means it moves back and forth in a circular motion known as oscillating rotating. However, it doesn't have the 3D motion like the Pro 3, which adds in pulsations. To get more detailed for a moment, the Vitality offers 7,600 oscillations, whereas the Pro 3 offers 8,800 plus 40,000 pulsations. Both models offer three cleaning modes. Each has a clean and sensitive mode. The Vitality has an additional sensitive plus mode, whereas the Pro 3 has whitening. I'm not an advocate for lots of modes. The clean and sensitive modes are perfectly sufficient for most users. Both brushes have two features I recommend, that is a timer and a pacer, but only the Pro 3 has the third recommended feature, a pressure sensor. This is a visible sensor that emits a red light around the neck of the brush handle. Should you brush too hard, the light will be lit until such time as the pressure is relieved. It is a useful feature for new brush users, but it isn't an absolute necessity if you know not to brush with lots of force. Sealed inside the handles are rechargeable batteries. The Vitality uses a nickel metal hydride battery, whereas the Pro 3 has a lithium iron. Claimed usage time is 10 and 14 plus days respectively. I managed 17 from the Vitality and up to 20 from the Pro 3. I've been pleasantly surprised by the amount of extra life I got from the Vitality. It's not a deal breaker, but that extra time can be useful if you're away from power sources for a while or don't want to take a charger with you when you go on holiday, for example. But there is another part to the battery that I think makes the Pro 3 the outright better brush. It has an LED that illuminates red when the power is low to let you know a top up is required. The Vitality Pro has no such LED. Thus you have no way of knowing if the battery is running low. You either have to keep a mental log of how long you've used it or simply wait for it to slow or stop because no power remains in the battery. This has a knock-on effect to charging. Place the Vitality Pro on the stand and you have no way of knowing if it is charging or when it is charged. The Pro 3's battery LED clearly show you via a red or green light. Despite using the same charging stand, the Vitality takes 22 hours to charge fully, whereas the Pro 3 is about half that at up to 12 hours. In the scheme of things, it's very much a first world problem and not an issue if you are happy to keep the Vitality topped up regularly. 
But I lose track of how many people I have heard from who have bought the Vitality not realising such an LED is missing and are quite disappointed by this. It just makes daily usability more irritating. There's a real risk the brush dies mid brushing session which isn't the case with the Pro 3. So then to price. The Vitality is the winner here if you're on a budget. It has a £50 retail price but more often than not you can pick it up for far less at around £25. Compare this to the £90 retail and £45 average selling price of the Pro 3 and it's a £20 premium that's almost enough to buy two Vitality Pros. Accounting for replacement brush head costs over three years it will cost around £55 to own the Vitality fees the £78 for the Pro 3. Consider what is most important to you. The Vitality Pro is ideally suited for some, but I do believe the Pro 3 is a much better investment and the more enjoyable brush to use daily. Links to buy either brush and full reviews of each are available in the description below.